A new study finds if a family eats together, the teenage girls in that family are less likely to develop a problem with drugs or alcohol. Mm. Terry Nisi, Distinguished Fellow, National Center of Policy Analysis, with me now. Good morning to you, Terry. Good morning, Bill. Uh, now, I know what it was like at 6 o'clock in my house growing up. Man, Mom rings that bell and you got to be there. There were no excuses. Right. What did the study teach us, Terry? Well, you know, it's a very interesting study because I think it just proves how important the family unit is. The bonding and the nurturing uh, that goes into helping our teenagers develop good behaviors. So it's a very important study. But, but I, I want to know, what, what is it about the family dinner table that's so important do they, do they stress? Well, you know, it's, it can be breakfast or lunch or okay. dinner. And, and one of the things that we're doing at the Family Policy Center at the NCPA is making sure that parents have flexibility in the, work to, in the workplace. You know, in, in the 1930s when our labor laws were written, very few women worked outside the home. So if we can have mom or dad home for breakfast or for lunch or for dinner, I, I believe this will help our teenage girls and boys. But here's what I'm driving at here. Why not a, 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 a family outing at a movie? Why not playing in the park? Why not going to the backyard? Well, what is it about the meal, be it breakfast, lunch, or dinner, that's important? You know, I, I think it's the whole bonding process, and it's, it's having time, it's having flexibility to spend time with your children. And, and all of that is critical in today's workplace. You know, our federal government workers, by the way, have the option to take compensatory time off in lieu of overtime wages. The private sector doesn't. So we have 37 million women who are on hourly wage. So let's give them flexibility to be home with their teenagers, to spend time with their teenagers, to take time off from work, to go to a soccer game, or believe it or not, many of us are taking care of our ailing parents. So this Terry, let, let me is just critical. let me just read you this sentence here. In families who ate at least five meals a week together, the teenage girls, the daughters, were much less likely to drink alcohol, smoke marijuana, or smoke cigarettes about five years later. What was it about the girls then, Terry, the daughters? I, I, I think, you know, women generally are the caregivers in the family. And girls begin to, to develop that bond and, and that need to nurture and become close to moms and dads, especially dads are very important to girls. And so I believe that coming around the table, you know the old saying, um, the family that plays together stays together. And so it's, it's the bonding and the nurturing and having the ability to spend more time with your children will really help these children okay. develop good behaviors. Uh, by the way, that study done in Minnesota with more than 800 girls followed them for a very long time. So some credibility on that end too. Terry Nisi, thank you for your time. Good to have thank you on. Thank you. All good right. to see you. Well, you we too. used to have